Hello, and welcome to part 9 of Undertale. Now, I got some explaining to do. You may think, why is this part 9? Where's part 8? Well, you see, something went wrong, and I didn't record the game. I played the game, but I didn't record it. So, sorry about that. I forgot to play, press the record button. Basically, I just recorded my voice. Um, so, here we go. Um, yep, this is Timmy Village that we saw last time. So, we are now going to progress. Basically, last video wasn't all that long. Basically, what happened is we, we met an old man. Went to, to Temi Village, and that's about it. Alright. I'm going to fight the, um, green. Green means green. Yeah, of course it does, Washua. And all the bun, all the bun, Washua sweating boats. Okay, it's like a healing fountain. Come on, Washua. Heal me some more somewhere, please. It really is just a healing fountain. Oh, come on, man. Dang it, 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 dang no, I'm just gonna flex. Okay, flex again. I really just have to sit here. And flex again. There we go. He flexes himself out of the room. Dang it, I didn't know those things hurt me. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking of, um... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I'm doing, because I'm doing the pacifist run now, I'm definitely gonna do the genocide run afterwards. Oh wait, I didn't actually read that. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. So, the way this room works is, if it's not on a time limit, we have to reach the next lantern before it goes completely dark. The thing is, you don't like have to restart or anything when the game is completely dark. What basically happens is you literally just have to wander around and try to find your way. Oh gosh, this is a heart attack. I've never seen this deck before. Oh gosh, I'm about to die. I'm literally about to die. Oh gosh, that almost hit me. On hug. my first death in this playthrough. May, may there be many more to come. Well, let's keep going. Um, I hope to get to the Undying fight in this episode. I'm betting I am going to get there this episode. Um, just, dang it. <laughs> These guys again. Alright, watch what? Clean me. I wish I could run away. Wait, can I actually flee? Yeah, I can just flee. That's good. Yeah. I don't really need to do these fights. I just noticed I don't get any money from the fights if I run away. Alright. Run, 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 run. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Let's keep going. Uh, it's getting darker. Dang it! Not right now, guys. Flee. Up. Oh gosh, no, no, no. I think there's a lantern up here. Yes. Did it. I'm so sure I am so close to the Undying fight right now. Behind you. 
Yep. This isn't the fight right here, but I'm literally about to go through the fight. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore, dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and the pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. And then I'll help you fight. <laughs> Yo, you did it. And that is right in front of you. You've got a front. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who is she fighting? Hey, you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> oh, wait. I was going to say, yeah, you're going to tell my parents about this, are you? That's funny. I'm basically at the fight, if I remember. The fight is right up ahead. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Oh, just past this bridge is the fight. Yo! There's a few different things you can do here, but the, dec the decision is timed once it comes, so I'm just gonna... Y you'll see the decision I make. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... I wanna ask you something. First thing I thought I said sack. I wanna sack you something. I wanna ask you something. Mm, man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean... And then told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? This isn't the decision I'm going to make, but the decision I was talking about, but I usually just say no. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Now here comes that decision. Yep. Yo, w w wait, help, I tripped. So it's either I fight and die now, I save the kid, or I run off and do nothing. I usually just save the kid. Y y yo, dude, if, if you wanna hurt my friend, you're gonna have to go through me first. She doesn't want to harm an innocent person. I'm at the fight now. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Well, just have to mm -mm be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Here's that fight, but I've already done this fight a few times, so hopefully it won't be too hard for me this time. Here it is. Yep, I'm not lying, this is actually the fight. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and its final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, let's have some cider. Let's get First, however, as if as this customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Hmm. No. You know what? Screw it. Why should I tell? When you're about to die. Nah.
I like the music for this fight. Not her theme, anyway. You. You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery... Flowery? flowery? Giant robots and... Flowery swords. <laughs> but you... You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. Let's not forget your wimpy two shoes stick. <laughs> oh, I'm making such a difference going. I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. She, when she said stick, she is referencing the first weapon that you get in the game, the stick. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. Literally. Quite literally. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment, but we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Hehehe. <laughs> the wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Yeah, this is a pretty hard fight. Just gotta say. That's it then. No more running away. Here we come. In guard. I almost clicked fight by accident. Challenge. <laughs> your bullets get faster. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you're in the learn to face danger head out. You won't last a second against me. So you basically see. I mean, it gets really hard, actually. Nine holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Until Andre and her attacks are too easy. Well, let's get past her. How about How about this? And Dunn holds her fist in front of her. For years, we dreamed of a happy ending. It smells like sushi. <laughs> Until and I and her attacks get too easy, blah, blah, blah. I said, and her attacks get unfair, and now sunlight is just within reach. Oh gosh. A hero, and nine points are hero killy towards the sky. I think that's the spear, maybe? Oh, well, it's getting unfair. I won't let you snatch away from it. Nine things that are friends and pounce the ground with their fists. Challenge? Nah. Enough warming up. You were just warming up? Oh gosh. Okay, now what you're supposed to do here. Dang it! I pressed the wrong thing. You're supposed to run away from her. Hope don't lose any more health here. Okay, you're supposed to flee. Then run. You're just supposed to run as fast as you can. You won't get away from me this time. Oh, that's really wrong. <laughs> oh, crap, I didn't read what she said. Sorry. You told me that? Okay. No human has ever made it past Asquith. Dion Subtux is a huge boulder, just because she can. Killing you now is an act of mercy. This is impatient. Challenge to stop being so resilient. Oh gosh! Oh, I almost died then. Okay, now I need to flee again. Don't mind me, yeah, I'm just leave. Crap. You escaped from me for the last time. You failed me for the last time, Andrew. This is where the CT comes in. You need the CT, you need speed boost. Alright. Get those yellow arrows to go backwards. I see now what she meant by that.
Alright, fight's basically pretty much over. But I'm determined to. Because it's pretty much over. We're probably gonna die now. There's a brown flash with a menacing smile. Okay. Determined to end this right now. Gosh, 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 gosh. You don't want to her attacks are too easy, but let's get up there. Right now. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. Right now. Oh gosh! No! <laughs> Spear impatiently. I'm gonna eat the quiche. I'm sorry. I gotta eat the quiche. Haha. It'd be funny if like, in the game you just see Sans just like, Hey, I wonder where I left my quiche. I'm like, I can't find it where I found it. I'm gonna die already, you little brat. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. Whew. No, 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 no. Press the wrong thing. This is why I use the CT. Because this makes me faster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Run, 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 run. Welcome to... Hey, what's up? I was just thinking you, me, and I should all hang out sometime. <laughs> I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Not a good time for a cell phone call. I was... Yes, I made it. Sans. Help Sans. <laughs> the funny thing about this is Sans is supposed to be a uh, sentry. So... He was supposed to, he's supposed to be awake to stop me. Die already, you little brat. I'm gonna I'm just run. I've got better to do. Now here's where the fight ends. Yep. I done did done did it. Armor, so hot. I can't give up. This is really fun. Okay. Take a cup of water. Give an the water? Yes. I think like she like fries up, like like a roll of sushi or something if you say no. She just like fries. You stay there for a while and watch her. I want to see if Sans is still back here. No, he's not, but he must be so embarrassed. Like, what the heck are you? Okay, K, K, K. You better not be talking about the KKK now. This is YouTube. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. What? <laughs> okay, KKK, I was thirsty, so I came to Waterfall to get a drink. What the heck? <laughs> makes no sense. Seems such a strange laboratory. You don't have to say this, you show the determination. Yeah, here's the river woman. She fast travels you from place to place. Alright. So. Nah, I'll save that for the next video. <laughs> Alright, guys. This has been Commander Blackwing. Or what, what? This has been Blackwing. On um, Pew Pew Boys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And look out for the next video. See you next time.